Sports Bedroom Writer based in Beijing uh, many years ago. A song from a distance for Wesse. My body is trapped in a heated room. Light shines from the ceiling. A leather sofa invites me to let my spine relax. But my heart runs through that river by the village, that bridge made of leather thongs rocking with the wind. That dusty yard where I was tied to a boulder where mother walked in the field every day. Here, grey houses stare at me, people on the train, frozen, edgy, tired, lonely, lost, wished for other versions of their lives. My mind runs to that river, that village by the Scorpion Hills, where the willow trees whistle, where I once set a farmer's hut on fire. I am now a hair of a dandelion flying with wind. What about you, my rebel? I see that you too are trapped in a far corner of a mad city under a star's shimmery bright yellow. Does your sofa invite you, or is it the eyes on the wall that watch every twitch of your muscles? I see that your heart runs away to your home in the mountains, where under the blue sky, pointed stars watch. From a distance, I sing, you and I are a fragment of an arrow shot forth from Kesar's bow. You and I are ears of barley watered by yellow river. Every day when I open the internet, my heart fears that there will be news of your disappearance. Like Don McCall into a cell before his Himalayan on fire could be born to a family of books. Like Jamianki taken away unseen soon after she produced the evening news. Like that opera master captured in darkness before his songs became one with the wind. Like that old woman from Pago who disappeared with her prayer will. From a distance, I sing, you and I are pieces of a broken pot in which Milarev boil his nettles. You and I are fronds of a juniper tree, fragrant in the hills of Anyamachi. Here in exile, my wrinkles deepen, the leaves fall from the trees. You will sharpen your pen in that city where each of your words are measured, each breath checked, each step followed. But your pen dances with the tales which come to me in another tongue. From a distance, I sing, you and I are fragmented words in a poem Kim Din Shunbi wrote in his prison cell. You and I are chipped pieces of uniform sword that pierce the evil light. One day, you and I will have a bottle of thukpa in the dingy house of the tale. One day, you and I will be snow lions roaming the mountains of Nianjiang.